It's showtime Saturday in the MEAC, and Howard made the eight plus hour drive south for a tough road test against South Carolina State. We had two of the biggest stars in the Mideast shining bright. South Carolina State has the big dog protecting their yard. Damani Applewhite, 17.5 points per game, seven rebounds, and zero reasons to come at this dude sideways. I mean, that's a whole grown man down there on the block for the Bulldogs. The Bison are led by R.J. Cole, the leading scorer in the MEAC with 20.6 points per game. He also drops about six dimes every time he touches the court. My man R.J. don't play and will cook you like a turkey on Thanksgiving. This one ended up going wire to wire and then some. But before we get into all that, no cap, these boys blessed me with the endless layup line dunk contest of the year thus far. And we about to get these dunks off, bruh, bruh. South Carolina State's David Bottenberg hits us with a rock the cradle reverse and a drop step windmill. We got Howard CJ Williams about to hit his head on the rim with this backwards lob. And I couldn't decide whose windmill was doper, so y'all gonna have to help me out with this one. Was it South Carolina State's Damani Applewhite or Howard's Chad Lott? And tonight's winner and officially the best dunker in the MEAC until somebody shows me something different is Howard's Raymond Bethay Jr. My man did a windmill off the jog, I see you. Hammer time off the glass. Dope. Casual tween the legs East Bay funk. Crazy. And the mere fact that he tried this and almost put it down, you got it bro, here go your crown. You are officially the layup line dunk champ until further notice. Now let's get into this action. Early in the first half, Chad Lott thought the dunk contest was just about to keep going, but Ian Kennard let him know real quick that was over with a mean rejection. Lott with some immediate get back though, he pokes the ball away from Kennard, Akuvo Ogunyole gets the steal, finds Chad Lott who immediately finds Akuvo with a no look pass, teamwork making the dream work for Howard in the first half. Akuvo gets another steal, gets it to his point guard RJ Cole who takes it all the way to the cup with the melody from heaven floater raining down for two. The Bulldogs biting back though, Janai Rayner Powell misses the layup but Damani Applewhite got his back with the tip in. On this play I was trying to figure out if that was an official Howard colorway on RJ Cole's Kyrie's when he pulled up from three. RJ Cole and Damani Applewhite put on a show in the first half. Somebody done left the back gate open and Damani Applewhite goes up and throws it down for the big boy alley -oop. Now this is what you call a swish. RJ Cole, he hard as sh Splash King Cole with another pull up three. And Damani Applewhite is strong strong. Watch him get the board in traffic, go straight up through contact for the big time bucket. Later he gets another grown man basket. This one is an and one that had his headband looking like Slick Watts. Youngins, pause this video and go Google Slick Watts real quick for me one time. Applewhite had 13 points and six rebounds in the first half. RJ Cole gave us 10 in the first, including this nice little drive to the rack. And to top off an exciting first half, RJ Cole with what looks like a push off to Bulldog coach Murray Garvin. Cole finds Chad Lott, who pulls up from the elbow at the buzzer, splash. Lott tries to sprint to the locker room, but yeah, bruh, it's the other way. Howard up 32-27 after the first half. Now Howard came out of their locker room for the second half in Fuego. Here we got Cole in the triple threat. He pulls up and sticks to three. Then RJ finds Chad Lott in the corner with his toe on the line for the long two. Cole to Lott again. This time he channels his inner Kalen Newton with a long pass down court. And Chad Lott, just like the layup line, cocks it back and puts it down. And the Bison are up 12 with 16 minutes left to play. Lott, still hot. Crossing, driving, hitting, pointing at South Carolina State fans. Chad Lott had a big day. He finished the game with 19 points. And this jam from the Frenchman Andre Torre gave Howard their largest lead of the game at 15. But somebody messed around and let them dogs loose. And South Carolina State starts to take over. Janai Rayner Powell scores this one from beyond the yard. As does Jamara Etienne. Armani Hill takes it old school with the sky hook, and just like that, Howard's lead is back down to five. Number zero in white, LeVar Harewood takes it to the basket. The call is a charge, and Ayo hey, Bulldog, t tell him why you mad, son. That's a bad call. 
Bison now up three with under two minutes left to play. RJ Cole pulls up from three. He misses. Damani Applewhite crashes the boards, gets fouled, goes to the line. He hits them both, and South Carolina State is down only one point. The Bulldogs playing some tough pressure defense in the backcourt. They manage to force a turnover. They get the ball back looking for the go-ahead bucket. Rainer Powell's shot is blocked by Chad Lott. Lott runs the floor and finds RJ Cole for the lay. Bison back up three with under a minute left in the ball game. No time to catch your breath in this one. South Carolina State's Jamar Etienne looking to tie it up from three. He misses off the back iron and Damani Applewhite with another big rebound, another strong move to the basket where he scores, gets fouled, and he has a chance to tie it up from the line. Yes, sir, my Bulldog brother, that is in fact how you do it. Applewhite with one free throw from the line to try to tie up the ball game. He hits it. No timeouts needed from Howard. Chad Lott takes the ball up the court. He dribbles off some clock. Almost loses the rock, but gets it back. Takes it to the elbow. Pulls up. And misses. Applewhite snags the board. South Carolina State elects to keep it pushing with no timeouts either. Rainer Powell with a chance to win it. He stops. He pops at the buzzer. And the ball rims in and out. We are going to overtime in Orangeburg, tied at 57 apiece, which is cause for celebration. And my bro hit the running man and the pop lock on. The extra period was all bison. RJ Cole gets it going with a dagger three over Renard Powell. Then he moves on to the corner with this Harden-esque fadeaway. Next, Chad Lott, he gets a fade away for himself. Howard locks up on D, hits their free throws, and heads back up north with a hard fought 71 67 win. And in the locker room after the game, the coaches applauded their road warriors on a great team win and dropped what I think is my new favorite breakdown slogan Sprinkles are for winners. We want to thing collectively. Everybody, Jaden was a big man of sad. Everybody got it. Uh, uh, Youngin came in, made some big shots, you know, yeah, it was a right big now. thing. Road Warriors, you can't always have a prescription for it. We thought we were going to win every home game, but we're going to win every one on the road. As long as we learn what success is, we're going to be successful when we get to the VAC tournament where it matters. Great job. We Road Warriors, fellas. Yeah. 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 Sprinkles up for winners. Yeah. Yeah. Sprinkles on three. One, two, three. Sprinkles! Sprinkles. Yeah.